Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about interpretation and discussion. And we will have uh, Dr. Fadas with us to actually explain and enlighten us about the difference between interpretation and discussions, which we find uh, problems with a lot of students which came to us and who came to us and say they do not understand how uh, they can differentiate this interpretation and discussion. Dr. Fadas? Uh, thank you, Dr. Jacqueline. Yes, uh, this is one of the common issues that uh, we usually face to handle students. They don't really get the differences between interpretation and discussion. The first question arises, where do we need interpretation and discussion? Where? Okay, first of all, if we talk about interpretation, we need to know what is that? Okay, uh, there is a common um, understanding that data interpretation, result interpretation, result discussion. So how we can differentiate those? First of all, if we talk about data interpretation, definitely it falls under chapter four, where we have uh, two types of interpretation. One is called quantitative interpretation and one is called qualitative interpretation. So the question arises, uh, which one is more suitable? Answer is very easy. Uh, what kind of uh, I mean the nature of your study, what kind of st study that you are going through. Is it quantitative? Is it qualitative? Is it mixed method? Which one? If it is quantitative, yes, we, we say quantitative interpretation. If it is qualitative, we say qualitative interpretation. If it is mixed method, we need uh, both sides, a little bit maybe, but we should have a good combination of these two. All right. So first of all, interpretation for Quantitative interpretation refers how we are interpreting our data or how we are interpreting our result. For example, the output from SPSS or MO, so whatever software that you are using for your quantitative analysis, right? There we should have some interpretations based on the tables or the numbers, the values that we get. And how would we interpret means how let's say I square value is like this, let's say 0.34. So 0.34 refers 34% expresses blah, 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 blah. This is called interpretation. This is not discussion. Okay. Another one, for example, uh, ANOVA, that, uh, some values from the ANOVA table, some values from T statistics table. So what does those value, what does that value or what do those values, uh, they give us the understanding of this? This is called interpretation. All right. How about discussion? Discussion is something like from your side, but before that, what, what about qualitative interpretation? Yes, for example, we have observation, we have case study, we have phenomenology, we have ethnography, we have ground theory, whatever you use, all right? So you should have some interpretation from your data or some interpretations from your result. But remember, we are not discussing about discussion yet. Yes, the question is, where does this discussion uh, take place or how we can do it? Basically, this is, I mean, this discussion part should appear just after interpretation of your result or data. That means this value says something like uh, 34% uh, or 76%. What does it mean? So this is interpretation. Now, how you are linking these findings with your study? This is discussion. Uh, maybe you need some support from literature. Maybe you need some uh, own uh, synthesis maybe you need some own uh, evaluation or uh, critical analysis those all should follow the discussion right that means you are trying to create some understandings and knowledge for the readers this is called discussion it should come from your side but definitely it involves some literature review so this is the basic difference between interpretation and discussion so i think that's all from uh, for the moment i hope it is clear how we can detect how we can write and how, how we can uh, go with these interpretations and discussions. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor Fadals. I hope uh, all of us can understand now and we, are, we understand better how to actually differentiate between interpretation and also discussion. See you again.